July or the worst, not the worst, the slowest, I should say, reading months. Um, also, excuse the lawnmower. I don't know who's doing that, but I'm really hoping it's not like the people right behind me because humans, and I don't like that. I don't like humans most humans. So, as you might recall, my July TBR list was grand. Not grand. It was average. It was, it was a good amount of books. <sighs> you know, we got, there were like four or five books in that list. <laughs> And I will tell you how many I read right now. Can you guess? I don't know what you said. Bite. 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 <laughs> but I, I read a grand amount of one book. I, I read one book in July. That's disappointing, yes. But was it a good book? Definitely, yes. <sighs> I love this book. I, I really do love this book. But there was a reason why it took a month to read. Each chapter is long. Like the first chapter was 20 pages. So I was like, ooh, that's a long, that's a long chapter. That, those are long chapters. Um, but you know, in my 24 hour reading video, I read Rune and Rising, which each chapter was about 20 pages. And so you're like, well, you read a whole book that was 20 page chapters in 15 hours. So why can't you read a book that's 20 page chapters in one month? Well, or finish it before the end of the month. Well turns out that 20 pages was one of the shorter chapters. Most of the chapters in this book were ranging around 40 to 50 pages. And I don't mind that. This is not a complaint, but um, that just made me read slower. So I do really like this book. So I should probably tell you what book that is. <laughs> So the first book that, the first, the only book that I read in July was Red, White, and Royal Blue. I really like this book. <laughs> um, I, I now know the hype, I now understand the hype for this book. It is, it's funny, it's cute. Like, my favorite part about this book, well, the comedy for one part, but also around, like, the last 100 pages, 100 pages, it went from being good to being fun. The book became fun. <laughs> what I mean was, like, that I was actually laughing, and whenever, like, whenever, like, one of the, like, you know, old, you know, relatives that don't support these two would be taken down it was just like it was just party mode i you know at one point i put on a tiara and some sort of face mask and i partied with these people taking down their homophobic relatives it was so fun um I think that was one of the relatives. 
um, it's just, it's such, it was such a fun book to read. So basically, it's about, how do I explain this? <laughs> basically, the, the president's son, Alex, this is Alex, you know, he has a feud with the Prince of England, Henry. And so at a wedding, Alex is, I'm pretty sure Alex is drunk and he goes to confront Henry to be like, I don't like you, but he ends up, they end up just toppling over a cake. And then after that, they have to like the press and everybody, like the White House and the royal People are like, you guys have to be friends or else you will ruin all of our reputa reputations, ruining like a $40,000 cake. So they pretend to be friends, but then like, you know, somehow they get each other's numbers and they call each other and then they meet up and they become good friends. They go from hating each other to being really good friends and then it turns into they like they have a relationship but they have to keep it secret because like the queen of england <laughs> not queen elizabeth don't worry the actual like royal family aren't in this book it's completely different people but the queen of england who i if you've read this book and you understand i imagine the queen as a vegan teacher <laughs> That's just how I imagined her, but she does not support this, and there's just like a bunch of people that don't support it, and there's a bunch of press that don't support it, and so they're being secretive, and then it gets, oh gosh, it's just, it's a fun book. <laughs> it's so much fun to see, you know, to see the support they get when it seems like when it seems like the biggest people are trying to take them down like the whole rest of the world are like showing so much love towards these two. Oh my gosh something just flew like right in my nose so <laughs> it's it's really fun i'm so excited for i don't know if it's a tv show or a movie and i have no idea when it's coming out all i know is that there's going to be something I know the actors that are going to be in it, besides that I don't know. I know it's going to be on Amazon, I think, Amazon Prime, so, but I'm really excited because some of those parts that just I had so much fun reading will be so much fun to watch. Also the cover, it's such a cute cover. So let me go into my ratings, my book journal, if you don't have a book journal, then get one because it's good keeping track of what you read <laughs> and what you rate things. Red, white, and royal blue. Uh, okay. I rated this book four and a half stars. I, yeah, lately I find myself rating things four and a half stars. Um,. <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't five stars, but it also wasn't four stars, so just put that little half there. Um, I also said noteworthy experiences. I said um, almost cried, had a blast reading, mushy feelings. It's always good when you get mushy, mushy, mushy feelings from a book. It is 418 pages. And the genre, according to Google, is romance, LGBTQ, plus, <laughs> I was like, comedy. I, my handwriting is really hard to read right now. Also, another thing I, I really like about this book is the family dynamics. There's, like, the sisters, the brothers. Actually, no, the only brother in that book kind of sucked. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't stand the only, br I don't stand the brother in that, there's only one brother, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, the family dynamics was really good. 
and also the character development like there's some characters in that book that I didn't like and then by the end I was just like I really loved them so I I really like this book <laughs> I recommend it it's it's so cute it's funny one actually okay one more thing <laughs> talking a lot about this book one more thing it's I would say, I definitely would say it's, um, well the age rating for this book is 18 and up, I'm under 18, but, um, yeah, so, do read with caution because there are some slight inappropriate things, language, other things, so, wow, that just shook the whole table. Okay, next, in August, <laughs> I red well <laughs> i'm so sorry about the leaf lower okay so i read the summer i turned pretty oh yeah we well, just keep coming back to this book i don't know if i said it but this is written by casey mcquinston so there's that. <laughs> so, I, in August, I read The Summer I Turned Pretty by Ginny Han. It's, it's a good book. <laughs> um, it is a TV show now on Prime Video. I started watching it. I'm on either episode four. I, yeah, I'm on episode four, I think. It's a good show. I definitely like it. And I also really like the book. So basically, Belly is the main character. Um, she, every summer since she was a baby, she's gone to the summer house with, you know, their friends. And that dog has an opinion on something. Where was I? So she goes to a summer house and she's not, she's not ugly, but she's not like, oh gosh, she, there is a wasp like plotting my murder right now. Oh gosh, she's coming closer. Like slowly she is approaching me. Okay, please go away. Thank you. Um... You know, why is it flying like that? It's not even flying in the air. It's like flying through the grass. Um, <laughs> so she's not ugly, but she's also not like gorgeous, you know, but this summer she's pretty. She changed, she had a glow up. She has a glow up, she has more confidence and she's realizing that, you know, hey, I can do things too, you know? Well, these guys are going out they're having they're going to parties but well, i have to stay here she's saying no bro she's saying no bro she never said that but she probably is saying in her mind um and also she's like madly in love with conrad one of the boys there i don't oh gosh the wasp is back that blah, the wasp is back okay um so yeah, she's madly in love with Conrad. She's always been in love with Conrad. I didn't really, I, I didn't hate Conrad, but I didn't really like Conrad. Um, there were some characters in the book that I just really didn't like. Oh gosh, okay. This wasp is like, she is, what, what character is that that like sneaks up through the grass? Wasps are like the devil, you know? Bees, they only sting you if you harm them. Other bugs that sting you, they only sting you if they're scared of you. Wasps, they sting you because they just want to cause drama, you know? So, I wasn't a... F Is it just me or did like the world get, get, just get louder? <laughs> so, the, um... So yeah, so Conrad... And also Belly's brother, Steven. I, I really didn't like Steven. 
I'm, I haven't read the two other books, so I don't know if Steven's gonna have a personality glow up. Um, but in the first book, Steven is just, I, I really don't like Steven. He's mean. He's like, he's just, he's very, I would say toxic towards Belly, you know? Like, I get not wanting your sister to come to parties and stuff like that, but I mean, he doesn't, oh gosh, it's closer. He doesn't, he doesn't like, he doesn't, he doesn't let Belly do anything. And not only that, but he doesn't let her enjoy anything, even if it's her own thing. You know, like her own birthday, he, you know, doesn't let her enjoy. He's always, he, he body shames Belly. He, I just, I don't like Steven, but in the TV show, I, they definitely, I think purposefully, they definitely gave Steven a slight personality glow up and Conrad. Conrad is definitely more enjoyable in the show. Like the insults that he says to Belly in the book are just out of nowhere and are rude, you know? But in the show, even though they're insults, they're they're a little bit better. They're they make a little bit of sense, you know. And so there's a lot of characters I like better in the show than in the book. But the characters I really like in the book, I also really like in the show. They're they're con they're they're good. <laughs> I like Belly. Um, Jer it's a actually the um the tr yeah the romance trope is love triangle. So it's between Belly, Conrad, and Jeremiah. The whole way through the book, I was team Jeremiah. I still am. The ending was a little bit upsetting. <laughs> Summer, I turn pretty. Okay, so the number of pages is 276. So it is one of the shorter books. This, this. I was about to like block the sun away from my face, but something just rolled out of this book. You know, we're in nature right now. There's, it makes sense. I thought somebody was looking at me through the window. So it's 276 pages one of the shorter books. I rated it a four and a half stars. It was going to be like four stars, but the ending, uh, this never happens to me, but the ending did, or around the ending. The last like few pages, the last like, not the end, very ending, but close to the ending, it did make me cry. So there are two points that made, there's one point that almost made me cry and then right after that, then there was something that did make me cry. Oh gosh. I can't tell you because it's like a huge spoiler, but yeah. One of my favorite parts in the book were like Jeremiah and Belly's close moments, you know, like the moments where you're like, oh yes, these are true friends. So those were my favorite parts. And one of those parts made me almost cry. And then there's a part after that that did make me cry. This book, it's a good solid read if you want something cutesy, if you want just a cutesy little romance, short, beachy book. Definitely a lot of beach things in this book. So I feel like I've been rambling a lot. <laughs> okay, lastly, I'm making slumber. Lastly, is a book that I did not finish. And that book is Dreamology by Lucy Keating. Keating, I think that's how you say it. Um, I've had this book for a while. Like, yeah, now I've had this book for really, like a really long time. Um, it's like, I'm a lot. <laughs> it's so basically, it's about so this girl is having dreams with this person named Max, and Max does not ex exist. Ex exist? <laughs> Max does not exist. Um, and so, but then one day at her new college, she's in class, 
and here walks into the door into the door here walks into the room is max himself and she's like whoa and he's pretending like he doesn't know her like what dreams you know but then it turns out that he does know her but also he has like a separate life and so you know he's trying to kind of like stay away from her and but at the same time they're trying to figure out like what is happening because he also remembers the dreams he remembers everything and so it turns out that they went to this oh gosh the wasp is back mm. go go some oh my gosh she flew like so far away that was the most beautiful sight i've ever seen um yeah so the where was i where was i yeah so they go to this facility because they're having bad dreams and apparently somebody did a test on them and the test worked and ever since they've dreamed of they've been in each other's dreams and so now they're back at this facility and they're like hey can you can you explain but as the as the book goes on the more and more they realize that um the more and more they realize that their dream world is starting to like their minds are starting to intertwine their dream world and their actual world and it's so cool because no one else can tell whenever like weird dream things are happening but they both know it so like at one point they're in a, like they're in the car together and um or they're they're standing together and she says man i wish we could fly up in those hot air balloons again and then all of a sudden they're up on the ground floating and it's not just she sees it it's not just he sees it it's that they both see it together but other people wouldn't see it i thought i saw a human but it was a tree um yeah it's just it's really it's really interesting <laughs> it does remind me a little bit of catcher by kaylin nicholson the dream parts the rest of this is a thickest eagle do not come after me i'm not dead yet why is she like why why do eagles do that why do they spin around like oh gosh there's two oh wait are they in love or was i <laughs> i just the fact that I got distracted by eagles is saying something. It's about 300 and something pages. <laughs> um, I don't have any ratings for it because I have not finished it. I don't rate books until, I don't give books a star rating until after I read them because you never know what could be, and the ending could turn out to be terrible. The ending could, it could turn out that they both die randomly it could turn out that it turns out that max actually isn't real and she's been delusional this whole time you never know um but also could be that the ending is amazing something amazing happened happens in the end so it all depends on the ending i guess <laughs> but so far my estimated rating is around four stars beginning i didn't love the beginning but as it's gone on it's gotten a lot cooler it's it's just it's really cool I, there's so many parts i want to tell you about but i shouldn't <laughs> um i'm saying i'm a lot so i will probably do a double upload and have a i this is late i know this video is late i should have uploaded this like you know the first of no not the first like the third of september now it's 12th um and i will be after this i ooh, hello after this i will make a tbr list so watch out for that unless i upload that one before this one so i hope you take these books into consideration and enjoy my review.
Yes. <laughs> I definitely would say my favorite out of this list is red, white, and royal blue. So, I mean, not, not, you know, not to hurt the other book's feelings, but that is my favorite. You see that tree? That, that tree? Keep, I keep thinking it's Bigfoot. And I don't feel like visiting with Bigfoot right now. So, I should go now that it's 30 minutes of a video. <laughs> so, with all of Elizabeth. Bye.